let's explore the importance of CI-CD. In a typical project, source code resides in a Git repository where it is both stored and versioned. So GitHub is a web-based platform which centers around Git, which serves as a centralized hub for hosting these repositories and extending Git's capabilities with additional features. Typically, all the code resides on the main or the master branch, which is frequently deployed to the production servers. When there is a need to introduce new features or simply modify existing code, developers create and collaborate on what's called as a feature branch. This branch essentially functions as a clone of the main code base, enabling a team of developers to work on a new feature until it's fully developed. Once the necessary changes are made, the code is committed to the feature branch and a pull request is initiated to merge the code back into the main branch. But before the merging takes place, a review process is initiated to carry out so that the changes require approval from the relevant team members or individuals. So following a successful merge into the main branch, the code is then deployed to production either manually or through an automated process. So this situation poses a significant risk to the application stability as there is often no testing conducted on the newly merged code before it reaches the production environment. So in real-time scenarios, you often find multiple developers working on different feature branches, each focusing on a new enhancement. So performing multiple merges without the implementation of CI in a software development workflow can lead to several significant problems and challenges such as delayed testing, inefficient deployment, and quality assuring challenges. So talking about delayed testing, so without CI, testing typically occurs late in the development cycle, often after multiple merges have taken place. So this delay in testing can make it harder to identify and rectify issues early in the development process, which increases the risk of defects making their way into production. And talking about inefficient deployment, so again in the absence of CI, deploying code to various environments like development, staging, or production often relies on manual processes. So this can lead to inconsistencies in deployment and potential configuration errors. And the final one is about quality, right? So without automated testing as an integral part of the development process, ensuring software quality becomes more reliant on manual testing, making it prone to human errors and subject to resources constraints. So again, so let's try to understand more about continuous integration. So let's imagine a scenario where a developer one creates a feature branch and makes some modifications. And once the modifications are done, so the commit, the code to the branch, and a pull request is generated to merge these changes into the main branch. Again, before the merge, a team member reviews the code and an automated CI pipeline is triggered. The CI pipeline proceeds through several stages, which includes unit testing, dependency scanning, artifact building, and vulnerability code scans. All these assessments are performed on both the newly added code and the existing code you know, from the main branch. If any of this test fails, the developer is asked to make the necessary adjustments and commit the changes to the same pull request. This action triggers the CI pipeline once again. And if there are no failures this time, the pull request is approved and it is merged back you know, into the main branch. Upon merging into the main branch, the same CI pipeline or possibly a different one with additional steps and test is automatically executed to verify the merge code. At this point, the testing the same code again after merging may seem redundant, but I'll try to clarify this by the end of the video. So while this deployments are taking place in a feature branch, uh, let's assume there is a second developer who is progressing on feature branch B. So they commit their changes and uh, create a pull request and automated 
CI pipeline is initiated, you know, testing the code committed in the branch. And once the CI pipeline is successfully completes, the pull request is approved and it is, you know, merged back into the main branch. So following the successful merge, uh, the main branch now contains the code changes from both feature branch A and B. And as mentioned earlier, any you know merges into the main branch is going to automatically trigger a CI pipeline. And in this instance, it once again runs all the tests, including unit testing, dependency scanning, uh, artifact building, and vulnerability scans. This ensures that the code changes from both feature branch A and B work together. And the entire process, which enables multiple developers to work on the same application while ensuring that these new changes integrate smoothly without you know, uh, affecting the existing code or without introducing any new issues, it is called as continuous integration. So now that we understood the concept of continuous integration, let's also check the CDI aspect. So, which encompasses the continuous deployment or is all you know continuous delivery as well. So, in the previous instances, after the code integration into the main branch and successfully completion of the CI pipeline, we manually deploy it to the production environments. So, in many scenarios, even after rigorous CI and the testing procedures it is advisable to deploy the modified applications to a non-production environment that closely resembles the live environments. So this allows for live testing before proceeding with the production deployments. So within the feature branch itself, you know, uh, following a successful CI pipeline, we can establish another continuous deployment pipeline. This pipeline is responsible for deploying the modified code to either a staging or a development environment. So following deployment, a series of tests are executed to ensure that the quality of the application is not regretted. So upon successfully completion of the CD, the pull request is then approved and merged back into the main branch. So within the main branch, the CI pipeline is triggered, you know, uh, assessing the newly merged changes. If successful, it automatically initiates the CD pipeline, resulting in the deployment of the application to the production environment. This automatic deployment process uh, following successful continuous integration is referred to as a continuous deployment. In certain instances, a manual approval step before uh, production deployment is a critical aspect of the development or the deployment process. This step serves to minimize risk, ensure quality, and adhere to the compliance requirement, and effectively you know, coordinate changes. It also offers a safety net and allows for human judgment and oversight within an otherwise automated process. So in this scenario, often you know, after you know, the successful completion of the CI pipeline, the CD pipeline awaits a human approval before proceeding with the production deployment. The process of manual approval prior to production deployment is referred to as continuous delivery. 